You may notice a change in our appearance. This balloon was brought in for this last season as a result of the overwhelmingly positive response from new visitors like you. To share fond memories of the balloon after its controlled deflation in February. You ask, and we listen. You are currently aboard a new tethered helium balloon, which we brought to Philadelphia with the help from our partners at 6ABC to give you a chance to soar once more. Please take a moment to secure loose items. We will ascend at a speed of 100 feet per minute to a height of 400 feet, so it will take about 4 minutes to reach the top. The wire cable that supports the balloon can hold 98,000 pounds. That's the weight of 14 adult male Nile hippos. The balloon itself is a giant helium balloon called a Lindstrom High Flyer, which holds approximately 22,000 cubic feet of helium, equivalent to 200,000 basketballs. It can withstand winds of up to 63 miles an hour, but we do not fly it if the winds are higher than 25 miles an hour because the ride can be bumpy. Enjoy the ride. We will let you know when we reach the top. The zoo is part of the city's emerging family-friendly Centennial District, a community filled with an extensive history that has helped shape our wonderful city, encompassing the Philadelphia Zoo, the Man Center, and the Police Touch Museum. We are currently in the midst of an ambitious 20-year plan to transform and revitalize the area by 2026 to coincide with the 250th anniversary of American independence. If you look to the southeast, you can see Center City situated between the Schuylkill and Delaware Rivers. Looking across the river, the large, light brown building in the foreground is the Philadelphia of Art. Known for spectacular art collection on the inside and the famous rocky stairs and statue on the outside. You can also see the Comcast Tower, Philadelphia's tallest building at 975 feet. There was a long-standing gentleman agreement that no building would be taller than the statue of William Penn standing. Thank you. 